We know there's issues. I mean, Alex drastically has gone from running, playing, walking perfectly fine for a long time after his leg surgery. All right, Alex, you gonna climb up there? And then all of a sudden it was like we slowed up drastically. We're not wanting to run around as much. We're not wanting to walk a lot. And so there's definitely concern. Do you feel like you've been running as much as you normally you used to? I don't know. Does it hurt when you run? Hey guys. Hey, hey Gloria. Pleasure. How are you? Good. Nice How to see you. you. I haven't seen you hey, since uh, seen you. honest. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Which is so that's a good thing. That's Big a good man. Thing. Alex, the real deal. I love it. We um, absolutely love Dr. Fletcher. He has seen. He's up here. He us. has seen all five of our children. He has operated on two of our kids, Anna and Elizabeth. Dr. Fletcher's got amazing bedside manners and does That's so right. well with the kids that even when we have to go through major, major operations, the kids still love to see him. I understand that uh, you've been having some new issues. Is it with your legs or your back? It's my back. Gotcha. And the pain that's in your back, is it just there once in a while or is it there all the time? I think uh, I think it's like one, like there once in a while. Okay. How much are you complaining <laughs> to them about it? How much, if I asked your dad how often he hears about it, what would he say? Is it one time a week? Is it one time a month? Or is it one time a day? Well, I don't really complain about it. He walks differently. He stands differently, walks differently. And when I correct him to stand up, that's when we hear. When I asked Alex to stand up straight, you know, he'll he'll get himself stood up, but it's doing it in kind of an awkward way. And then he says that the lower part of his back hurts a little bit. All right, buddy, can we walk you outside in the hallway? All right. We got a long runway. We're going to go that way. We're going to go down towards the scary skeleton, OK? Walk on down there for me, my man. So the, the things that we worry most about achondroplasia, because of the anatomy, particularly in the lower spine, with growth, the spinal cord can get squished um, and, and crimped, and that can lead to a lot of pain and also loss of functionality in the legs. Does that right heel look like it swings into? It's, he, he has a little bit of asymmetry. But I, I can see him trying, purposely trying to lean back a little yeah. bit. Oh, you can? You see yeah. his shoulders back? Are you walking normal, or are you trying to walk straight up? Walking normal? We have to evaluate kids knowing that at the end of the day, they don't want to do anything that's going to hurt. And so we, we look for subtle clues, because usually he'll tell me that he's doing fine.